Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, just coming to you here, kind of give you a roundout of my second week here at Night Transportation, going through the Squire training program to uh, get my full Class A CDL license. Um, sorry, I'm kind of off to myself in the terminal, so I'm trying not to be too uh, too loud here. Um, getting ready to get a shower in and then uh, head off to bed. So I'm at the end of my second week here, and uh, things have continued to go phenomenally well. And uh, I uh, can't complain how things have gone, how the training's been. Uh, the whole time it's been very fast paced and concise, um, but it hasn't been so quick that we that uh, we can't catch on. So really great program. The instructors are awesome. Um, the Squire training coordinator um, and recruiter, um, Summer Matt, uh, did a phenomenal job helping uh, me get hired, get me here, and helping me along the way. Um, the entire program coordinator, um, I'm going to forget his first name, last name is Van Cleet, Mr. Van Cleet. Um, he's done a phenomenal job um, as in charge of the Squire training program here um, has done a phenomenal job, obviously, choosing his um, instructors uh, and helping his students on all along the way. So basically what we've done all this week is continue to work on, practice and train on all the stuff that we've done in the first week, which is our pre-trip inspections, um, our three um, backing skills, straight line backing, offset backing and parallel parking. We've also um, continued um, the opportunities of being taken out to drive on the road, work on our turning, um, work on our shifting, you know, watching traffic, uh, making sure we're stopping the truck far enough away from uh, intersections, we can see the crosswalks, all of this stuff. All of this stuff is covered through the training and they, like I said, they do a phenomenal job. Um, so that's what we've done. It's culminated into the end of the week here. Um, right now it's Thursday night. Um, tomorrow morning, Friday morning, I am actually doing my final test to get my CDL license. Um, I'm the first one to go in the morning. Um, so we start. Um, we have started our training the whole week at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then we end at 4. Um, and so in the morning, I get the joy of being first to test. Um, I believe we're doing two, maybe three tests in the morning myself. Um, another gentleman who made an error on his last test, um, so he's retesting tomorrow and then possibly a third person. Um, I'm not sure if that worked out or not, um, or if they're gonna wait. Um, so at least two of us, maybe three are gonna test tomorrow, and then um, a few people have to wait until the following week, just because the way um, their permit fell, um, the state that they uh, came from, their permit requires them to wait so many um, days until they can test for their full CDL permit, or full CDL, not the permit. So like I said, it's Thursday here, tomorrow's Friday, um, and bright and early, six o'clock in the morning, I'm taking my, taking the test for my full license. Um, first thing in the morning, no, no practice, um, I'll take my test cold. So I'm feeling anxious, um, but confident, you know, I, I understand the few points um, that I've had some struggles with and I'm going to really focus on those tomorrow and slow things down and make sure that uh, I get all the things covered on my inspection. I'm going to um, slow down my backing maneuvers and make sure that I hit those on the point. Um, 
And on my road test, I'm gonna make sure that uh, I really slow down my turns so that uh, I don't lose any points. Um, so uh, that's the plan. All right, six o'clock in the morning, I take my test. And then um, once I get through and pass that test, I get all my paperwork done with my instructors and the tester, get all that wrapped up. Um, I'm gonna stay and attend a safety meeting or training class in the afternoon. Um, and then I will probably, as long as I'm released after that, I'm probably gonna hit the road and head back home to Kansas. Um, so this is kind of a wrap up video of this second week. I'm gonna have a couple more coming. Um, one, um, I will tell you, obviously, um, I'll record tomorrow at some point, um, covering whether I passed my license or not. Um, and probably um, cover my living situation. Um, basically how I've been sleeping and staying here in Phoenix. Um, I just haven't covered that yet just due to uh, my background. I try to be um, safety and security conscious. So um, once that comes out, you'll kind of understand why I haven't um, really covered that yet. Um, but like I said, tomorrow once I get done and I pass my test and I make that video, um, part of that will cover um, my living situation or my living arrangements. And uh, we'll let you guys know how that has gone for these two weeks. Um, it's been great, guys. Um, I talked to my terminal manager today and let him know basically the progress of how um, things have gone and that when I'm done here I needed a little bit of time off to take care of some things at home and uh, that uh, I'm gonna pass my test tomorrow like I said six get that wrapped up get everything done get home I have some things to take care of and I'm gonna let him know when I'm ready to go out with my trainer and uh, he told me that he's already he already has my trainer in mind and lined up and so he just needs to know when I'm ready to go so he can um, route the trainer through and get me picked up and start doing uh, start doing the uh, over the road um, real job training so I'm excited guys um, this has been a phenomenal um, and ever life-changing journey in night transportation has made every single step of the way easy. Um, every single person has been over backwards to make sure that everything that I needed to get done was taken care of. If I needed help with something, they've been over backwards. You know, if something happened that they couldn't get things taken care of, um, they were apologizing that they weren't able to um, help me out and get things accomplished. And uh, the instructors here, like I say, are phenomenal. Um, the instructors are, are top notch. Um, the lead instructor, Terry, has been doing this for, well, I mean, they've all been doing this for years. Um, lead instructor is Terry, um, does a phenomenal job working with everybody very very patient patient man um, really tries to um, he challenges you but he challenges you in a fun way makes you laugh and and really have a good time um, another instructor Joey um, haven't really worked a lot or drove over the road with him another phenomenal really down-to-earth instructor um, Steve worked with him he is He's another great instructor. He really works with you on getting every little bit just right and, and down to the details. So phenomenal instructors, great crew of people, really work with you to make sure that uh, you know what you're doing, what you're doing wrong, what you need to do. So I, like I said, I can't be, be happier. Um, I'm gonna sign off, get my shower done, get some sleep so I can do my test. Love you guys. If you're looking at 
a driving company, not transportation. I'm telling you, this is this is where it's at, um, as far as I can tell. Um, without any experience, I um, I don't I don't know of any better company, um, but I haven't driven. Um, I don't I don't know the job yet. Um, but just how they treat their people is phenomenal. Night transportation. So if you guys are interested, you're applying, um, go to www.drivenight.com, D-R-I-V-E-K-N-I-G-H-T.com. Um, if you want, if you feel like um, I'm the reason that you um, applied and you want, put me down as a referral. You don't have to. Um, put me down as a referral. My driver code is the number two, the letter M-O-K-E. That's it, guys. Signing off. Thanks. Bye.